Challenge. Use towers that stun like Balloon Crush, Cripple Moab, Flash Bomb, Shell Shock slash Pop and Nah, and Pat Fussy as your hero, since he can also stun. Bet, we're gonna be using this strategy right here then, because we can stun balloons with the Balloon Crush on the bomb, the Cripple Moab on the Sniper, and then finally, the Shell Shock slash Pop and Nah on the Mortar. Oh wait, don't forget about my boy Pat Fussy too. He can stun. But if you guys like these challenge videos, you want to see more, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And as well, we're trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And we're currently around 60,000 subscribers away from that. So it truly would mean the world to me if you could click that subscribe button so we can hit 500k again by the end of the year. Thank you so much. And it looks like our opponent's hero is going to be Gwendolyn. We instead are going to be using my boy, Pat freaking Fusty, on the map, Cobra Command, with the course of strategy, Pat Fusty, Bomb, Mortar, Sniper. Now, we just got to make sure that we go for all the necessary upgrades that are within this challenge, and then we should be good to go. But we're not only going to be going for those upgrades, by the way. Like, bro, we're, we're going to need a little bit of help, that's for sure. Let's start off with the bomb here. I had to get that pixel perfect placement. Okay, why did I go for the frag bombs, though? That was kind of stupid of me, because now I can't send content group reds. All right, but he started out with Tack when Very, very interesting. I mean, Tack really isn't all that good in this map, not gonna lie. I'm gonna set this to last, by the way, because I don't wanna start chasing like super, super hard here. But since we're not using a farm strategy, well, we're not gonna be sending any space deco, which is ultimately gonna delay our cluster bomb. And yeah, I'm not going for Pat Fussy just yet, as much as that pains me. It is way smarter for us in this position to just go for the cluster bomb, so. I'm gonna have to stop ecoing again here, bro. Like, imagine if I didn't stop ecoing there. I would still be leaking at this very moment. He's farming. Okay, so we're gonna have to send him a little bit of space eco then. Because uh, he, he is kind of greedy, right? So, we'll send him a few space yells there. Or is he fine, honestly? Bro, he's so greedy. Wait, he's actually so greedy. Okay, he tower boosted. He's so greedy. He upgraded his farm, guys. That is so greedy, bro. Let me go for the bigger bombs there. All right, Space Pink's here now. He's definitely not going to be liking this. I, oh my god, he is so greedy. He's going to have his level 3 ability, that's why. He is so greedy though, bro. Oh my, look how, lo look how low he is. What? <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Okay, do I go with Pat Fusty or do I save my money? Okay, finally you upgrade your tax shooter. It's about freaking time, brother. I think I don't go for Pat Fusty still yet because my eco game is kind of suffering since he has his towers more towards the front of the map. That, that's definitely his goal, right? He wants these rounds to be absolutely flying by. And too, if we went for Pat Fusty, we probably actually would not be fine um, against all these space whites right here. Okay, so I'm thinking us going for the good old heavy bombs upgrade rather. What was definitely the play there? Let me try to hit the 500 eco goal mark before the start of this round. Okay, just a little shy of that. So not too, too shabby. And he's going to go for another farm. Okay, I'm surprised he's going for another farm. He's going to use his cocktail. That was really dumb. That was really, really dumb. Why would you use cocktail there? Now you're not going to have cocktail for round seven group yellows. I won't click the button though, because like I, I truly don't want this guy to die. Like that that's really not the goal here, okay? But I'm going to get ready to set down Pat 2 right here. Oh my god, you're so greedy though. You're actually so greedy. Don't die here, please. Do not die. If I click the button though and balloon boost it, he, he would be dead. Just for the record, he, he would be dead. But it is what it is. I'm going to go for Pat. Oh my god, around 8 Pat Fusty, guys. My freaking goodness, man. Hopefully this all ends up working out. But we're also going to have to go for a D camo. Uh, mortar as well. Let's go for Pat there. I'm gonna set Pat to strong by the way. Good, good, good. At least he didn't go for a banana plantation and he went for another 230 or actually 130 for right now, but it's probably gonna be a 230, right? So uh, at least he didn't like greed like crazy. Like, bro, he, he literally tried to greed like crazy, but like at the end of the day, his farms aren't even all that good. I don't know what bro's doing, man. Okay, but let's go for our mortar all the way up here. We're gonna have you actually probably on set target. I think we're fine against space zebras at the moment or for the moment. I'm gonna have to go for the Bernie stuff upgrade too as well on this bad boy. Beautiful. I'm gonna have you targeted to probably like right about here. Awesome. Cross path you with the middle path as well. We should be fine against all this. 
We're literally fighting against all of that. Bomb is just that freaking OP. Purples too, we're fighting against. We're literally fighting against all of this. Dude, Bomb is just built different, baby. Come on now. Put some respect on the freaking Cluster Bomb's day, baby. Let's go. Okay, Wizard. Oh, okay. So, I, I, yeah, we probably could get the win right here right now, man. <laughs> but that, that is not the goal. Oh, wait. Don't die, though. Do not die. He leaked some lives down to 20 lives now. Okay. Sold attack shooters for the Necromancer. Fair play. Well done with that. I'm going to have probably another bomb now. Can I fit another bomb in here? No, I can't. Okay. Well, that's a little unfortunate. I thought maybe, like, because, like, out of nowhere he was super aggressive that maybe he would send me another rush. I, I guess we're kind of sort of in the clear. I'll go for a 0, zero, zero bomb right here. Again. Just for safety measures, he could send me ceramics. Ceramics could be pretty scary. Although, I think Pat actually shreds ceramics. So, I don't know, man. Maybe we're fine. And two, don't forget, my boy Pat Foss, he's able to push back. Quite literally push back. More plastic balloons. So, on round 17, we're also going to be fine. So, I'm actually feeling really, really confident with this one, boys. And since he's using attack farm wizard strategy with Gwendolyn, which is kind of weird, by the way. But since he's using that strategy... I don't think he can defend all that well past round 30. And with that in mind, he's probably then going to rush us on round 30. So I'm going to stop Eco in here. I know. 1502 Eco. Not very high, but again, trust the process. I believe that this guy is going to be quite aggressive against us. Okay, so now we can stack up a little bit more cash, but also simultaneously start going for some sniper farms, which can actually do a little bit of damage for us at the same time. He did stop Eco in too. Might send us a map here. Um, or he, he's actually scared about his defenses, I guess. Okay, I'm going to greed here for this. It's not really greedy. It, it truly isn't. But got the supply drop there. Beautiful. Now, I do want to watch out for fortified mobs because that's going to be a little bit of a different story. Um, If he does end up sending those, I don't know, man. I'm going to have to probably go for a mauler or something. Let me use that ability. Beautiful. Collect that. Go for another one. But yeah, I might have to go for like a balloon impact or something more towards the back of the map. I'm going to set down my farmer too. Because the farmer can auto collect all of our crates. Okay. Here comes one singular mob. Watch. My boy Pat. Bro, we're fine against this. We're actually fine against this. I'm going to cross path you with the top path though. Yes, sir. Pat Fusty. Yes, sir. Dude. We shredded that, baby. We actually shredded there. Let's freaking go. Didn't even need to use level 3 ability. Well, like, I, I cross path this, too, because, like, I'm eventually going to upgrade this to my elite sniper. Okay, three. Now, that's a little bit of a different story. What the? Okay, I'll probably tower boost that. And we're fine. Beautiful. Now, I want to sell into the elite sniper here. So, I can sell you, sell you for about 6k. Huh. Okay. What we'll do here very, very soon. Let's make sure that we're fine here. I'm not using my ability on purpose, by the way. Doing that on purpose here. Okay, we're fine against those. Go for that. Use that. To, oh, okay. Use that ability. A little greedy on my behalf, but hopefully it ends up paying off for us. But yeah, bro. With tower boost level three as well, Pat just pushed all those back. And then the balloon and Pat was able to clean up the ceramics. Or maybe we didn't even need that. I don't know if it was overkill or not, but it's now round 22. So, with all this aggression in mind, his farm's being bad as well. He's probably going to send us a ZOMG, if I had to guess. Which is fine, because we have level 10 big squeeze as well. Not yet, but we will have that. We can also go for a maim, which can stun the ZOMG for us, giving us more time. And yep, there's that ZOMG. It's a fortified one as well, okay? So, I'm going to make sure that I just go for this now, not worry about that pixel perfect placement. Get this. Beautiful. Now, I don't know, bro. I'm going to cross path you in the middle path. Okay, so you're the strong. Okay, okay, okay. We're good here. We are good. I think I honestly might do this. Oh, no. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. We're good here. Huh? 
We're good. Okay, okay, okay. And we do have to watch out here, though. So we have, what, two of these? Just gotta watch out for the insides. Is he dead? To oh, he's dead to the AI. Oh, he completely sold. I, I wasn't even paying attention. <laughs> he completely sold, like, everything over in his side. Okay. I honestly think we would have been able to defend against that. Don't sleep on the memes. Just don't sleep on this strategy in general, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay, but we still gotta go over the upgrades. So I will catch y'all in the next one. Okay, it's round 10 here in the next game. Our opponent's using Tack Village Glue as their strategy. So we've got to make him leak here. And I think he's not using the right setup technically. Oh, wait, what is he doing? No, overdrive's not going to work. I just need to get enough of those through. Maybe Purple's over top. Not enough to kill him, though. Not enough to kill him. No way that fully defends. You're, li you're actually lying. You're actually lying. Um, okay, we're going to have to re-rush him. That cannot fully defend. Look at how stalled out these rounds are, though, bro. This is not a good look for us. Not at all. But this is literally all we need. Okay, so I guess in that regard, we're kind of sort of fine. I don't know, bro. Even rainbows. I don't I don't know if I should send regrow or not. I mean, you can bait his level 3 ability for sure. So, so we'll try to do that. He's not even max sequence, so I guess I'll just rush him right now. Okay, not enough to kill him. What? The... Wait, no, no, he's good. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He leaked on my screen. He leaked on my screen. He leaked. He's, he's gonna leak. He's gonna leak. Tell me... Tell me that makes him leak. Tell me that... Bro! Are you kidding? Guys! I wouldn't have balloon boosted it if I didn't think that nothing got through. Are you serious? What? Oh my god. And now he's got double overdrive. What's the get past that, bro? Leds? Leds, technically. Leds, technically, will get by. I don't know. Should I try? What? Oh my. I can't, bro. I'm tr I'm tr I'm trying, bro. I'm, I'm trying here. But this guy just has to over defend like freaking crazy, bro. Like, you're actually lying. I can't out late game this strategy, dude. I'm so screwed. I'm literally so screwed here. It's not even funny. Oh, I just wanted him to leak, bro. And look, he's over defending like absolutely crazy. He's not even equaling. Maybe I can out late game him then. Okay, let me really focus on popping the balloons right as they come off the map then. I guess I'll go for a good old sniper to help with that. Sniper can definitely pop these balloons immediately. I probably should stop Eco in here too very, very soon as well. Although at the same time, like, maybe not. Uh, oh, wait. He's popping the balloons immediately now. His glue is kind of messing them up. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I can't even... I can't even send him a mob here. He could send me a mob, though. He's still not Ecoing. Okay, we can win this. We can win this because he's not properly playing this, all right? We're going to go for all the necessary upgrades with this challenge, but, like... Bro, like, what What more do you want me to do, bro? Like, I, I've tried everything, bro. Like, Tack Village Glue is just that freaking goaded. I guess I probably should have been popping the balloons a little bit quicker, though. Definitely could have dried that out, but... We're gonna slowly but surely go for the supply drop here. What are you going for down here? Dude, he's barely sending me anything, bro. I don't even think four to five mobs. Even if I send multiple with double overdrive and then this glue right here, I don't even think this would get by, honestly, so... Let's just go for the good old supply drop then. Try to pop these balloons a little bit quicker here. I'm going to go for another one directly below it as well. Okay, use that ability. Beautiful. Another bouncing bullet. Okay, yeah. Now we're popping the balloons a little bit quicker, okay? Which will help in regards to stalling because now we're not like relying on our eco game as much. Since we do have alt eco with having the cyber farms. Let's go with the top hat so we can pop some lead balloons there beautiful i mean his ego like despite him like he's still not even currently equaling right but like his ego has got to be at still a pretty decent amount uh but got a double supply drop now okay by the time that this comes back it's about to come back shoot i shouldn't have upgraded this to a supply drop i don't know what the heck i was thinking it's fine though we'll just go for another one then round 20s here i mean are you are you gonna rush me or something like what what's going what's going on here bro 
What, what's going on here, brother? Just nothing? When should we stop equaling, by the way? Oh my god. We're really stalling out this round, though. Jesus, bro. Pop this down! Come on, snipers. I mean, they are middle path snipers, so... I guess we gotta cut him some slack. Alright, use that supply chop. By the time that this ability is ready to be used, we, we've gotta go for the elite sniper here, okay? And we're gonna stop Ekoin here, I guess. Maybe... No, no, no. We're not gonna stop Ekoin. Let's continue on pushing it even more here. Why not? With having this much eco and then these sniper farms on top of this, bro, oh, we're going to easily afford all these upgrades. Do anything. I don't care. I don't care. I dare you to try anything. ZOMGs ain't going to work. DDTs ain't going to freaking work. I'm feeling confident. I mean, we have some potential, right? Like, we actually have a lot of potential because we can decamel with the mortar. Balloon Crush can stun everything underneath fortified bad layers so we got that going for us as well fortified ceramics here on round 23 we're gonna be absolutely chilling yeah although he's using the go strategy big dog you're not constantly ecoing bro that's where you messed up brother because you gotta make sure that you are constantly ecoing and so maybe about four rounds you think uh your opponent's going to rush you okay so that's why i like try to shoot for it depends sometimes i greed but i try to shoot for stopping with my eco on round 26 if i think that my opponent is going to rush me on round 30. hopefully that kind of all uh sort of makes sense okay but there we go with another supply drop i guess then like i don't know man should like i plan on rushing him though that's the thing so maybe i'll push to like 50 100 eco so long as it's okay beautiful perfect number even number right there because I plan on rushing this guy pretty much with an all-out on round 30. Just because he, he's not going to have the funds, guys. He, he truly won't, okay? And although Tack Village Glue can be an OP strategy, I want to show you guys that it definitely does still have some weaknesses. Now, this is kind of unfortunate because we are supposed to go for all the stunning upgrades, but I don't know, boys. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I guess I'll go for... I don't know. I think I'd rather have the Balloon Crush, like, right here. So there we go with that. Round 26 is here. I mean, currently we can't defend against DDTs. But uh, I don't think he's going to send them, bro. Truly don't think he's going to send them. I mean, I could go for multiple different things, right? I could go for some maims. I, I could go for a balloon incineration. I could go for some Moab assassins. But like the safest option definitely would just to be uh, to go for the balloon crush, okay? So... We'll probably end up doing that. Maybe I should stop farming two here, like right now, just so that we can prepare our defenses and get ready to rush him. I don't know. Like maybe we won't rush him immediately on round 30, but we'll, we'll just see how it goes. Okay. Balloon crush here though for round 28 fast cooldown DDTs. Again, we have this up here at the decamo. Now I probably should have another decamo though, just to be safe all the way up here. This will be on follow mouse, though. Beautiful. We still do need to go for the pop and ah as well. So let's go for that over here, too. Beautiful, even though we only have one. Kind of awkward, but hey, it, it, it's better than nothing, guys. It is better than nothing. And then finally, we need to go for the cripple moab. So we'll have the good old cripple moab all the way down here in the bottom left hand corner, because why not? And this thing actually shreds. Okay, like, this thing's so freaking P. Now, since we have a D camo with heavy mortar, I'm going to cross path you with the bottom path so you're just strong as well. Beautiful. And I think we're ready to go, boys. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should stack up a little bit more money, but, like, bro, look at his defenses right now. Bro, he would die to hyper-dense ZOMGs. Should we, should we do this, boys? Should we send him? Bro, wait, 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 wait. I actually have an idea. I am going to send him Hyperdense OMGs, but I'm going to wait until I have a little bit more money saved up here, okay? So I'm ultimately giving him more time, which could turn really, really badly for me, but with the way it's looking for him at the moment, I think we're okay. And he's still ecoing, which isn't a smart thing either. So we're going to try to stack up a little bit more money here, because I want to send, like, I want the entire map to just be filled with Hyperdense OMGs. Obviously, though, this is a long map. That's going to require a lot of money. So we might have to just wait even longer. But we could just 
sell off all of these sniper farms, each of these being almost 6.7k. We'll get a lot of extra money with doing that. And mind you, he can't even counter, bro. Because with having the Balloon Crush, Cripple Moab as well, and then the D Camo Mortars popping out too, we could use that ability. Don't forget about that. Uh, but with all those upgrades, he, he just can't counter. This is like the best like counter defense to have, I swear. Now he's equal with purples. That's really not smart. <laughs> really, really not smart, man. I mean, he's probably thinking like, oh yeah, this is the play, but it is not, okay? I mean, it is round 35, so maybe at this point we, we should just rush him, okay? So, I don't know, man. Wait, wait, wait. Abilities are about to come back, though. Abilities are about to come back. Why not wait just a little bit longer? Use those abilities there. Beautiful. Collect all that money. And these are going to be unfortified ZOMGs, by the way. So let me actually, let me do it the cool way. Let's balloon bot these. Balloon bot hyper dense ZOMGs, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Let's see if he can defend. I'm going to balloon boost now as well. Mind you, he can stall with having the glue. But the thing is, his tax shooters are going to get pierce capped. Oh, yeah, let's use all these abilities as well. Just to send even more. Why not? And his glues can't stall forever, ladies and gentlemen. There he goes, Glue Storm. He, does he have Homeland? Did he even pop any of them down? Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. We're gonna use these abilities. Collect that money. Okay, we can send more. Okay, just sell all these off now, just so we can send more. Again, he can't he can't counter, bro. He just can't. Map full of ZOMGs, baby. I told you. He didn't even try to counter. He did What? What happened to the BFBs? Wait, what? Wait, how is he not dead, though? <laughs> Literally, the entire side is filled with ZOMGs. Oh, my goodness. Despite Tack the Lynch glue being an OP strategy, y'all saw right there hyper dense ZOMGs. Pierce caps all the tag shooters and everything. Glues can't even keep up too with stalling them. And he ends up going down. Guys, if you enjoy videos like this, you want to see more, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And as well, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We're trying to hit 500k by the end of the year. And with your help, we can do it. So subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where this transforming tower combination is perfect. See ya.